let's take a look at the curves adjustment tool. You can access the curves adjustment from this panel, adjustment panel here is the curve adjustment. And another way you can access it, you can click on this. Click on this, and then here you have curves adjustment. You should prefer using this or this option rather than there is a third option that is from here from image menu adjustments and curves because this one is a destructive method working in photoshop say i make a change like so like that if i make a change i'll give ok now let's say i want to edit the changes then i don't have the option to edit the changes now all the information i have uh, had in the previous layer in the background layer is lost once i have applied the curves adjustment using this method so i can just go ahead and do undo and uh, i'll choose this option for now because this has much more options and flexibility with the tool so here this is the highlights i can increase the highlights and this is the shadows i can increase the shadows as well and for the midtones i can click on this and then i can increase or decrease the midtones there is some math going on in here like input is 113 so the pixels that are of 113 brightness value will give output of 108 means they are becoming darker now let's say if i bring it up they are becoming brighter so this is the brightness value of the pixels the input determines that is the math behind the input and output i'm going to give undo and back to reset i can also try automatic automatic also does the job fine sometimes but in case it doesn't do then you can just uh, try any one of these presets like uh, linear contrast will be a convenient one to use in this case and most cases linear contrast works fine you can try others and if they work out fine then you can use the preset but else we have the other options like uh, similarly to the levels we have a black point i can click on this and just um, give photoshop a reference of what a black point in my image is let's just say click on this and then it changed the black point now next is the white point let's just give one white point that is uh, let's sample this one there there it got the white point now it's time for the gray point let's choose uh, this one as a gray point let's say this will be the gray so as you can see with just these three options i have significantly made a change in the whole image i can go even beyond and further with this i just give undo and i have three different channels of red green blue if i particularly want to make changes in that particular channels let's just uh, these are let's just make this a little darker i'll bring this little um, from here as well little chocolate okay now let's say i can reduce the red or increase the red let's say if i reduce it it will introduce cyan tone if i increase the red it will introduce the red tone let's just add a little bit of red to this image and uh, green the opposite of green is magenta so if i bring down the greens it will add magenta if i increase greens it will add in the green color green tone bring down greens i'm gonna add the blue now blue would be opposite of blue would be yellow so if i bring it down the yellow would be introduced in the image I bring it up it will become blue but i'd like the yellow much better in this image so i'm going to keep it that way just a little bit of yellow not too much and you can see the image has drastically 
changed with these three options. There is one more method you can use this. I uh, better undo. Here, use this hand. If you don't know where to pinpoint these points, then you can use the hand. And um, let's just go to the point. Like I want to go to this point, bring it down, like make it darker or brighter. I can just go to some point like this. I can make it darker. I want to make this point brighter. So let's just go to this point and get brighter. To make her face brighter. Highly contrasting images, but I can do with this channel also like bring down the blues, bring up the blues, bring down the blues would introduce a yellow tone. Then I go to the green channel, bring down the green, so we introduce magenta, a bit of green down. I go to the red now, red, I want more, little more red. Give that autumn look with this image. So it's very easy to use curves adjustment and you can use a mask if you want to further go in with this image and uh, particularly do it on the subject or the background like so using this uh, mask option.